Man, was I surprised. And here I was thinking summoners were all old geezers. So, we met a couple of hotties. First of all, summoner Yuna. And the one that I'm more of a fan of, Lulu. So, um, ever since I first got this game and I did my first playthrough, I've always been more of a Lulu fan than the others. And there's two very big reasons for that. One was the joke that I just made. And, you know, the other one is just, well, I guess it's not one reason, but it's just her general, I think her voice actor is good. I like the kind of, um, she just has something about her voice. It's not a, a, an overly girly voice and it sounds quite kind of mature and wise. And there's just, uh, as you'll see as we progress through the game, just her, she's not kind of, okay, she's you know, very, very provocatively dressed. But other than that, she's, um, she's a very smart woman. She has a, a lot of knowledge about the world. And I think she's just a, a cool character. But obviously everyone will have their own preferences. And to be honest, in the FMV sequences, Yuna does look a lot better. I don't particularly like her in the, the kind of in-game uh, look. But in the FMV, she really does look good as well. But yeah, I've always been a Lulu fanboy, just so you know. And I'll be selecting the Lulu-related stuff whenever I get a chance. I mean, she even has like a red iris, which I think is really cool as well. Hey, over here! What? Ah, ah, ow! Wait till you see this. I can't see anything. Ready. Okay. I had never seen anything like it in my life. Sure, it was a little scary, but still, I could feel a strange kind of gentleness coming from it. All right, so here is the first Aeon of the game, Valifor, and actually it's one of the Aeons that I like more. I remember that night we talked for the first time I didn't know it then, but after that night, everything changed. For everyone. For me. Let me introduce you to the team. This guy here wants into the tournament so bad, I let him on the team. His memory's a little fuzzy, so don't mind him if he says anything odd. Come on, say hi. Uh, hi guys. Hi. So what's our goal? To do our best! <laughs> nope, we got a new goal now. Our new goal is victory! to win every match, defeat every opposing team, to bring the Crystal Cup back to our island. That's all we need to do to win. Easy, huh? I mean, you know that a team hasn't won many Blitzball games when Walker has to kind of explain what he means when he says victory. Victory! 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 Yeah! 
Okay, so now we can head over and talk to Yuna, and we're going to get a very infamous uh, pair of lines here. That always crack me up. You heathen! Stay away from the summoner! You're a bad man! Lady Yuna, be careful. But it was really my fault to begin with. Oh. 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 I'm Yuna. Thank you so much for your help earlier. Huh? Uh, I'm sorry about that. Wasn't that... Wasn't I not supposed to... Guess I kind of overreacted. Oh, no. I was overconfident. Um, I saw that Aeon thing. That's amazing. Uh, really? Do you think I can become High Summoner? Lady Yuna, come play with me some more. So, tomorrow then. Tomorrow? We're going on the same boat, aren't we? Oh, really? We can talk more. Huh. You can tell me all about Xanarkand. He's cute, yeah? <laughs> okay, so obviously the game is steering us in a direction here. You can already see there's a kind of connection between the two. So obviously they're trying to build a, a relationship here between Tylus and Yuna because of the events that will happen in the future. But, because I like Lulu more... Then we're cool. Hey, but what if she, like, comes on to me? That's not going to happen. If you get tired, let me know. I had a bed made for you. Yeah, because I mean, I imagine Tylus and Zanuck and th there's not too many girls at Yuna around there. So yes, okay, she looks good, but I don't know, as a Blitzball star, I'm sure he's uh, well acquainted Stay with the Stay away from oh. the summoner! Fuck you. Yeah, so um, it's actually quite an interesting thing that they need to do here, because if you've seen the art for the game, you'll know that at the end of the day, it's pretty obvious that, the, that a relationship between, the bond between Tylus and, and Yuna is going to get very strong. So obviously you have characters like Riku and Lulu and they probably don't want the character preferring those characters to Yuna. So you're going to see uh, Lulu, well she's older than Tidus by like, I think she's my age actually. Damn I'm getting old. Yeah she's 22 I think so she's much closer to Waka, I think Waka's 23. And because Tidus and Yuna are both 17 and you can tell they're kind of slightly younger than, than those two anyway. I think they try to make sure that there's, you know, always a, a barrier between Lulu and Tidus to make sure you don't get too kind of attached to her as as opposed to, to Yuna. Because then it would be kind of weird if, if you've got a, you know, if they're trying to get you and Yuna close, but you prefer Lulu the entire way. But we get to see a nice FMV of Lulu here. Yay! Mm, ready for bed. Good. Sleep tight. Okay, there's actually a little kind of dream that you can have control of. All I need to do is run down to where Yuna's is waiting at the pier. But obviously they're trying to, again, make sure that you're you're thinking along the right direction. So if you see how this dream plays out, you can see who Tidus has on his mind and who you sh should be having on your mind. Where's, Where's that, that boat? boat? Everyone, Everyone will, will find, find us, us if it doesn't, doesn't come, come soon. soon. You, you really, really sure this, this is okay? okay? Would, Would you, you take, take me, me to Xanarkand? Hey! You, you said, said you'd go, go with me! me. Oh, oh, hey! hey. I, I, uh... I thought, I thought Waka, Waka told, told you not to get any ideas. ideas. He did? He did. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, so you're so coming, coming with me. me. Hey, stop dreaming! 
You with a woman? You can't even catch a ball! Oh, what's the matter? Gonna cry again? Cry, cry. That's the only thing you're good for. I hate you. Huh? What'd you say? You have to speak loudly. I hate you! Huh? That's the spirit. You can do it. I hate you! He's dead, okay? Dead. He does look a lot like Chapu. I was surprised, too, the first time I saw him. But no matter what he looks like, he isn't Chapu. You shouldn't have brought him here in the first place. Yeah, but... He needed our help. Excuses again? Yeah, but... That's it. No more. Enough, Waka. So, who's Chapu? My little brother, Chapu. He looked like you. He's dead? He was with the Crusaders when they fought Sin last year. He didn't make it. I first heard on the day of the tournament. Oh, so that's why. I became a guardian to fight Sin, yeah? Revenge, then? That was the idea. <laughs> I'm more worried about a stupid game now than avenging my brother. Well, after the next tournament, I'll be a guardian full-time. I know it kind of looks like I'm using you, but I'm not. Don't worry. I mean, I owe you a lot. You really helped me out, you know? What I mean is... Thanks, Waka. <laughs> Stop. You're embarrassing me. <laughs> so we get a little bit of depth to Waka as well. You get to see that he does have some emotion in there. He's not always 100%, you know, this uh, clumsy, fun-loving guy. But also, got to thank Jekt for coming and uh, interrupting that dream. Otherwise, it was probably going to end as a wet one for the 17-year-old red-blooded Tidus. Just in time there, old man. You can always count on him to, to ruin dreams like that. Okay. Going to be some more cutscene. Hey, sleepyhead. Something I want to give you. Whoa, you're giving this to me? Yeah, use it well. That's the sword you gave Chapu. Well, he never used it. Where's Yuna? We're taking the same boat as Yuna, right? Why do we gotta wait here? Yuna came to this village ten years ago. When the last calm started. The calm? Since then, she's been like a little sister to me and Lulu. But she had the talent. She became an apprentice. Now, today, she leaves as a summoner. This is our journey. We should leave together. You really don't need all that luggage. Ah, uh, they're not really my things. Th they're gifts for the temples we're to visit. This isn't a vacation, you know. I guess... I guess you're right. Okay, off we go.
Okay, gonna head back into the village because there is that one thing that I need to do before I leave. Okay, let's hopefully I can get this done without too much messing about. Where is that freaking dog? Okay, you know a funny thing happened. My dog dug something up yesterday. I wonder what it was. Okay, yeah, that's what we needed to do. Good stuff. So yeah, Titus was kind of the whole, you know, why can't we just leave? Why do we have to wait? And I think obviously he's not quite understanding the significance of the journey yet. And it's not really until, you know, 15, 15 20 hours in that you really start to understand the significance of what is what is happening. And again, it's one of those things that when you look in retrospect, everything kind of has a lot more meaning. But where is that fucking dog? I must find him. Once I do find him, I will explain why I had to find him. But, uh, is he in someone's house? I doubt dogs are allowed into the temple. There he is, the little shit. Something man the slobbery. Fantastic. So there you go. The reason why I did all this was so that Valifor could learn a second overdrive. And he is, or he or she, I can't quite remember. I think it might be a she actually, Valifor. Is the only Aeon that has two overdrives. And the second one is obviously a better overdrive than the first. And the reason why you want to make sure you do everything you need to do in Besaid before you leave is because once you leave, and if you want to come back for something post-game, there will be a dark version of Valifor waiting for you at the gate. And obviously, unless you've done some, you know, post-game leveling and your characters are, are doing quite well, you're going to find it very tough to defeat Dark Valifor. So, yeah, I think the first time I did it, I had to resort to Zanmato because I had no idea what I was doing the first time I played. Here comes one now. Hey, why don't you try out that sword I gave you? This sword looks fucking epic, I have to say. It's an amazing looking sword. No problem. Not too shabby. You kept up with him pretty well. Might make a good guardian someday. A flyer. My kind of customer. Okay, Waka, you know, since he has a ball, he has a higher accuracy stat than Titus, and he is much more reliable when it comes to hitting flying things. And the flyers tend to have slightly less HP than, than the others, in general, anyway. I kind of envision a lava lamp. You know, imagine Titus' sword, but kind of in a lava lamp form, so they still have the bubbles kind of going through it, but it's in the shape of Titus' sword. That would be amazing. If I ever become like rich and famous one day, I might just get that specially made. That looks like trouble. <laughs> Watch this! <laughs> Smart ass. Told ya, only magic can beat that thing. If you can't beat them down, you gotta use magic of an element they don't like. Magic? Element? Let's have our black mage show you what I mean. You, you're up. Clueless, aren't you? Good thing I'm here. Spells of ice work well against fire fiends. And ice fiends are weak against fire magic. You follow? I get fire and ice, but what about lightning and water? Lightning and water are opposed, just like fire and ice. This one here is a water fiend, which means... Which means we get to see Lulu's amazing victory celebration. There you go. It's as if it was not enough already. She has a victory celebration that looks like that. <laughs> oh man.